Hi, this is Ian with MakeUseOf.com, and today we have a tutorial on installing TensorFlow onto your Raspberry Pi, checking that it's working, and doing some basic image classification. So you will need a Raspberry Pi for this tutorial, and it will need the Raspbian Stretch operating system on it. Uh, once you have that up and running, open a terminal window and update your Pi, and just check your Python versions. So if you want to do this with Python 2, that's fine. You'll need Python 2.7, um, and for Python 3, you need at least Python 3.4. Before we install TensorFlow, we need to install another library. So uh, the Atlas library is required by NumPy, and TensorFlow uses NumPy, so you can install it by typing sudo apt install libatlas-base-dev, and once that's installed, we'll be ready to install TensorFlow. Now, uh, it used to be quite a faff to get TensorFlow installed, and now it couldn't be easier, because now you can just install it using pip. So um, I'll be using pip3. Um, if you're going to be using Python 2, just use pip. And I'm installing it for my user, which is pi. So uh, pip3 install dash dash user TensorFlow. Set it going, and uh, this can take a while, so I'm going to go off and make a cup of tea. Once that's finished installing, you're ready to test out whether that TensorFlow install has actually worked. Now, the way you can test it is using a script that they provide in the tutorial on the TensorFlow website, which is the TensorFlow version of a Hello World. Now, um, I've already done this, and all it does is it imports a TensorFlow library, and it does the TensorFlow style of Hello World. So, I'm going to head out from this, type python3 tftest.py, and run it. Now, I'm going to get some warnings. Uh, Python 3.5 specifically has this problem where you get runtime warnings. Um, it says on the TensorFlow website itself that this is something not to worry about, um, that everything will still work, and so I imagine they'll uh, patch that in soon. But as you can see, hello TensorFlow has printed out of that program, which is exactly what we wanted the program to do. So TensorFlow is working, but let's move on to something a little bit more interesting. Let's do some image classification. To get started with the image classifier, let's make a directory for us to put the example project in. So I'm just going to say make directory tf1 and head into it. Um, and we're going to be cloning a, an example project that already exists from uh, github.com slash tensorflow slash models dot git. And uh, get that one downloading. Once again, this can take a little bit of time, so be patient. And then when it's downloaded, we'll try the example project. Once the Git repository has finished cloning, we want to go into the tutorial directory. Um, there are various models that come with the Git repository, but um, inside models slash tutorial slash image slash image net is a uh, image classifier that is already set up for us to try. So to just try it as is, type Python 3, and then uh, the script is called classify image.py. And what this will do is it will take an image of a panda that comes bundled with the Git repository, and it will give it to the already trained uh, neural network model that we have downloaded, and then it will spit back what it thinks it is. So again, this can take a little while. If you're using Python 3.5, you will get a couple of errors, um, but uh, set it going, give it a moment, and we'll see what comes out. When the program is finished running, you will see that it spits out a few ideas of what it thinks the image is. Now, uh, we haven't seen the image yet, but just for reference, this is the image that was put in, um, and so that is fairly obviously a panda, and TensorFlow has got it right. It thinks giant panda is one of its guesses, and it is the guess it is the most certain of, with a score of 0.89. So that's 90% certainty that this is a giant panda, although it had a few other guesses. Uh, for example, it thought it might be a custard apple, but it really wasn't very certain of that. So um, that's how you can do it with a panda, but this trained neural network will actually take in anything and have a guess at what it is. So let's look at how we do that with our own image. So we've seen the example classify image sketch running, and uh, the way that you can do it with your own images is simply by adding arguments to the command line when you start it. So we have here Python classify image as we had before, and the way that you can add your own image is by giving it an image file argument. Um, so it's image file equals and then the path to your file. So mine is home pi george.jpg. And just before I run it, I'll show you what George is. Uh, George is a T-Rex. Um, so I, I just went for dinosaur, T-Rex, something like that. Um, and let's see what TensorFlow makes of it. And we're back. And uh, this is quite interesting, actually. Um, having run TensorFlow, uh, it... It took the image, and uh, again, it took George, who is a, a T-Rex, who, who is a dinosaur, um, and uh, it didn't say T-Rex, but it did say Triceratops, which is a kind of dinosaur, and it's the only thing it had any certainty about. It also thought hippopotamus, frilled lizard, Indian elephant, sunscreen, 
Um, but if you look at the uh, the uh, certainty on these, there's really not very much. So uh, that's uh, kind of interesting that it didn't get T-Rex right, but it certainly knew it was a dinosaur, and perhaps Triceratops is the only dinosaur it knows. Who knows? So this is the very beginning of TensorFlow on the Raspberry Pi. We've installed it, we've tested it, we have tried out their image classifier that was provided to us with a model that already exists. And uh, as someone that makes tutorials, I find myself saying this a lot, but we have barely scratched the surface, and that has never been a truer sentiment than in this case. This is an incredibly dense subject, which I am only just beginning to learn about, and I hope to do more tutorials on it. Uh, this tutorial has a text version on the Make Use Of website. We also have various articles which cover the best places to learn machine learning from scratch. Uh, so if it is something you're interested in, do head over there. There'll be a link in the description. And as well as making tutorials on this YouTube channel, we also have weekly reviews and tech tips. We have giveaways. So if you're not already subscribed to the channel, consider subscribing to us. But for now, thank you so much for watching. 